Hello everybody, it's me, Sam. So today's video is a bit different and not something I've done before, but I actually just received in the mail my Binding of Isaac physical game uh, from the Kickstarter that happened a few years ago. It's finally got to me, uh, but I am gonna open up and do an unboxing for all y'all of the stuff I got. And I got the angelic tier. So that was that $150 one. It has a statue, but I also have a few uh, different add-ons that I got as well, which I'll be showing off in this video. The box is open. So this package came in two, two portions here. The one I just opened is actually the plush one. So I did end up getting both the Monstro and the uh, Baby Plum plush. I like. I think I like the Baby, just off initial glances here, I think I definitely like the Baby Plum a bit more. Uh, this one's definitely more firm. So it's definitely more of a uh, show, show plush rather than like the snuggle plush. But yeah, this is actually really nice. I really enjoy this one. Okay, so here he is in all of his glory. Um, he's definitely weirdly shaped. I mean, I know Monstro is definitely not the most cute creature of all time, but the plush is like very flat on this side and then more rounded on this side. So it's a bit weird in that way. And it does have a bit of like extra detailing here with the eyeball and the eyes being more uh, jutted out. Again, this is more of a display plush. It has the same sort of packing as the other one. So with that box out of the way, we can actually uh, open up the other box, which probably has the game in it. I also added our little friends here in the background as we open up the next box. So the next box is definitely where the most of the bulk of the stuff I got is. All right, da 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 da. This is what it looks like as I open it up. The little monster is getting knocked over there. He's just gonna be peeking over the Speaking over the top there just to see us all, but I did get the game mat. I got the four player game mat here. Very excited to have this and along with the game. Uh, me and my friends love playing this game online. As you've seen on the channel, I've done a few videos with it, uh, but I'm definitely excited to play this in person. So before I even open this further, let's open this mat up and actually get it down on the table. I did move the friends out of the way just for the moment, but here it is just from this very initial glance. It looks really beautiful. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I didn't realize it was gonna be two separate mats in one. So let me try to figure out the orientation on this. So one side's like that. So that's actually kind of interesting. I was under the assumption it was gonna be, uh, it was gonna be all, all, all one piece or whatever, but I suppose not. Oh, okay, I got it backwards. Cause you can see the trap door that's here. That's the game board. You can't see all of it cause it's quite wide, but that's what it looks like. I did add our friends back here. Actually, let me move them just slightly forward. You know, got some smaller stuff, additional roll of coins, because apparently that, you know, because of the incentives that were hit during the uh, the campaign, there was going to be burned coins. So I wanted some normal coins to mix in with some of the burned coins just for some variance. So I'll be putting all the items that I got just in front here. I got an additional uh, tainted Isaac little figure here because I was a backer within the first week, I believe is what it was. I have 10 additional little heart counters. Another roll of pennies, you already know. And I got the Unholy Rollers dice set. So five dice with all different designs on them, just as you would see them in the tabletop version. Here's the man of the hour. It is the uh, Isaac Angel coming in this tier of the Kickstarter. I also have a few extra teardrops to represent his tokens. I also got a copy of Tapeworms. I got this copy because me and my friends all enjoy board games and card games. So I'm excited to give this a go. I have never played this before and neither of my friends. So we'll see if we like it. Okay, so that concludes all of the smaller stuff that I got. Uh, we're gonna open these up now and see what they look like. Let's take a look at both of them together. So this is the little guy. He looks to be pretty good quality. It doesn't seem like he has any scuffing or anything from the factory, which is really nice. The tiers are more of like a uh, you know extra feature. They're not like printed on, which I like. It's a good touch. And the only thing I wish with both of these really is that the bases on them had a little bit more going on with them other than just being clear. Maybe give them a little design. I mean, just because all the other things had a little design as well, like even like the small little details on, these, uh, on the game mat. Now we got our angel here. Our angel did require a bit of assembly. Uh, just on the back here, you add his wings and a stand here. Um, I will say one of the wings doesn't really like to stay in. It doesn't really seem like too well. Um, so maybe a slight complaint there, but overall he's pretty clean. So I think officially it's time to, to see what the box looks like. So here's the main star of the show. 
and probably the part I am the most excited for, it's the box itself. So I know they made a big deal about making sure that their box was beautiful and presentable. I'll say right away that it definitely lives up to that. Now, if you notice, uh, the latch itself isn't like just some artificial latch. It's actually a real latch on your box that really make it feel like a chest. The seal is open. The seal is open. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh, okay. I see what's, what's going on here. So basically there's an over top to this. So like, look, you see this? All right. So you actually have to slide it out. There it is. A little bit hard to open up right away, but... Da -da -da -da. Okay, so we got that stuck there. Well, that's good. So it, it keeps open on its own, which I like to see. What are these? These are the tattoos. Okay, so these are some of the tattoos that came with the Kickstarter. Out of all these, I think I like this one the most. I think this one's actually dope. Will I ever put these on? Probably not. I think they're more of a collector piece for me. I don't really get any... Uh, any satisfaction out of opening this and using them. Sorry, my dog needs to go outside, be right back. Okay, I'm back again, sorry. A lot of things keep distracting me here, but yep, tattoos, even more tattoos. No, 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 okay, these are stickers. Uh, I'm not really a sticker person. I like keeping my uh, devices and anything like that uh, pretty clean. So I won't be adding any stickers to this either by any means, but again, a nice little thing to have in the collection of Isaac related merch. So this is a note from you know, Edmund here. Big thanks to everyone who supported the Rec Room's Kickstarter and joined in on a pretty insane adventure. It's with your support that we were able to pack so much great stuff into this project and we made it and made it not only better, but your interaction and creativity made this whole experience honestly a ton of fun for me as well. Till the next time, folks. Wow, these are some really complicated coloring pages. Definitely a lot of small detail in, in, these, in this artwork here. So if you're an avid color, colorer, <laughs> uh, you're gonna get a good amount of joy out of this. I'm gonna, gonna keep it sealed though, because I think it's cooler as an art piece rather than a uh, my own color, coloring extravaganza. All right, so now we get to do the reveal of what is inside the box. Da -da -da. Yep, so all the pennies in this box are burned. These are our nickels. Again, I think a very nice addition considering the amount of coins you can get, it can be out of hand sometimes. Uh, a bigger version of the normal dice to signify uh, you did a Kickstarter and the damage dice for the monsters. All right, so instead of your traditional sack, uh, you actually have the bloodied sack, black instead of the normal brown. I will say we just played with the other Binding of Isaac uh, base game that they have. And I will say that the sack quality I feel was better on that one than this one, uh, but that is a minor gripe at best. Again, very cool. And the last thing out of this little baggie here is a pin, which is random. And the pin I got is the Necronomicon. All right, with that said, we now we're down to the cards. So let's look at how they sort of package these up. I mean, it's a variety of cards based on the colors here. So we've got some loot cards, treasure cards, apparently some characters and starter items as well. We're not gonna open all these up. I mean, we can't go through every card in this video, all right, these are all our room cards. This is definitely gonna add some for needed variety. I mean, there's already a lot of variety in this game, but definitely more interesting game states as a result of these room cards when they come into play. So very excited to have these. I think, interestingly enough, the art on these cards is, that I think, more colorful. Like, it seems more saturated than the uh, first base game, which I think is a good thing. And yeah, literally uh, a player the other day had this card in their uh, item pool. And it definitely did not look as like nice as this one. I think the print quality and the look of these cards is definitely a lot better in this. And it seems like they changed like the background of these loot cards as well to be a darker color, which in the other game, I believe it's more lighter. All right, I think this is the exciting stuff. I do not rem... Oh, you know what these are probably are? These are probably dividers. Oh, and it actually has dividers for like the card type as well. So like double-sided cards here. And there's more than enough dividers here, I, I would assume, for all the cards here. So happy about that. Now this, this is a great little addition that basically just any key terms in the game. That is good for definitely new players and players who need reminders on what the heck is going on and what an activation of an effect means. These are all of our uh, uh, Warp Zone cards, actually, uh, just because Abe's on here, which means there's other special things in there. I think these are all of our alternate, alternate art cards. So again, a very cool, nice addition just for these Kickstarter folks. 
and some blank cards to even make your own effects and a how to play book Get rid of the silica gel how to play book very cute little handbook and a qr code to find the rules online if you need more rules so as our last few things here let's open this up more and just see you know what we can do how, how customizable is this basically so these are really nice i mean they're pretty sturdy they're not going to go anywhere unless you really really crush it sorry i just saw a little oh no i actually see a little damage on my box i don't know if that was from me or uh just some other event but so again you have a lot of cool art in here you can see the dead guppy in here which is just a nice touch for sure uh, but this is the most exciting part here. Obviously, all the other cards are the traditional cards you would see in Binding of Isaac. They smell good. They don't smell like a factory by any means. Yep. Oh, dude, these are nice feeling cards. I do want to keep these nice, ideally. But yeah, obviously, we got all of our nice extra friends that were been added as a result of the Kickstarter. Extra items as a result of the Kickstarter. Extra cards as a result of the Kickstarter. I mean, very, very nice. I think they did a great job with the card quality on these. If these are all the same quality cards, like throughout, and it feels like this, I think this is a really nice, nice print quality. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I'm probably gonna be uploading some actual live games, potentially, if that's something people are interested in, or I'll just end up doing more Binding of Isaac content on the channel, maybe doing live streams. Until next time, I'll see you around.